I had decided if I was gonna vlog this, but I guess I'm vlogging it now. Oh, this is just an orchard in the middle of the airport, you know. No big. I'm currently at SeaTac, the Seattle Tacoma International Airport. I left my car here while I went on an adventure and that wasn't the smartest idea because now it's almost $3,000 to get it out of parking. But wait, there's more. When I got here, my battery was dead. So I went and got help. They have a jump box for customers. So I got my car jumped, made it to the thing to drive out. I knew the money was gonna be buku crazy. I called them before I bought my flight back. My car won't work. They put a block on it. I've been traveling. But guess what? Today is Christmas Eve. The bank is closed. Today and tomorrow. But he's still keep doing it. This is Tanzania Bati. So I had got my card and I walked in here all the way back in the airport from exiting the parking garage. So like a good 20 to 30 minute walk. And I tried to use the ATM, but the cards block. It is very hot. This would make a beautiful dress. Yeah. Simple dress. It's textured too. The texture is very nice. Yeah, very nice. Get close so you can try to see the texture. So, I just tried to do an internal transfer to my business debit card. So, I'm walking back to the ATM now. But I made it back to my car to get my bag and my phone. And guess what? My battery's dead again. So, <laughs> not only am I headed back to see if I can retrieve cash from the ATM so I can get out of here, I'm also headed to see if I get the jump box again. But that means I'm probably going to have to get a battery if it's not lasting. Because um, that was the first time I turned the car off since I had jumped it. So, yeah. This car. This one here. This is a beautiful scarf. Yeah, you can just put in a net or you can just do a simple dress or you can wrap yourself for the beach. Or even my hijabis could wear like a kimar or a head wrap. I'm probably gonna have to jump it and go find a battery somewhere. Amazing stuff. So not to mention, I just lost like $500 in transit because I got to the airport, the international airport, the international airport, where they have several currency exchange stands. Nobody wanted to sell me any USD. They all claim they ain't have it. I don't believe them. Recently, Tanzania made an announcement stating they were moving from reserve currency model to interest bearers currency model, which tells me they're probably hoarding their USD because Tanzanian shillings are worth nothing outside of Tanzania. I had to trade about a brick worth of tish Not kidding, it's like five to seven bill for pounds. And then I took my pounds and had to trade them while I was in the Oman, or no, no, no. I was in Doha, Qatar, trading my pounds for USD. But of course I lost some money, about $500 total. So right now I'm about net negative $3,250 in this current moment. I didn't even leave the airport yet. Exciting things are happening. So I'm thinking now we need to create some type of adventure to recoup some of these losses because today's Christmas Eve. I'm getting my vehicle out of the airport. Merry Christmas to me. Also, it'll be the very first Christmas that I'm spending completely by myself. No spouse, no baby, no family, just me. And apparently I needed this time to myself because what the fuck is this shit show? But I'm still smiling because Trust me, I've been through a lot worse. Let's see how this goes. ATM, take two. Battery jump, take two. Except this time, I'm walking three times as far as I did the first time. But we move, but we move. All right, you got her running. I'm probably gonna have to go get a battery. But at least she's running. Now let's go return the jump box. I'm gonna have to leave her running and make sure I go straight and get a jump box and probably a battery too. But I did manage to get the money out of the ATM. We're making progress. We're moving. All right, we're gonna leave her running. I'm gonna go return this box since we at the airport. 
we just gonna pray the security gonna take care of itself. The police is heavy out here, so. But uh, let's go return this jump box that they were so kind enough to let me use. All right, I just took the jump box back for the second time. Got my license back. Now we're traversing across the third ground level of ground transportation level of SeaTac for like the fifth time today. <laughs> Traverse. I know what, my heart appreciates all the movement and the cardio after that long flight, but she's just gonna sleep good tonight. This is about to be maybe the seventh attempt at going down all of these steps. Hopefully we got a winner winner chicken dinner this time. You guys should get out of here. I know what, this is the biggest like obtuse travel expense I've taken on in the last several years that I've been traveling. And I haven't planning to sit still for 2024, which is why I came to get things together now anyway. But you know, things are pointing that I'm leading in the right direction of, it's time to sit down somewhere. Sit down somewhere. Cause this is a bit much, a bit much. All right, look, I'm leaving the airport. I paid. The guy was like, holy shit. <laughs> He's like, this is more than my rent. I'm like, listen, please let us look. We don't need to rub it in because, all right, listen, shit crazy, crazy. You know why I came last minute? Because I thought it was a monthly rate on the parking. And when I called to find out what it had done racked up to, they was like, oh no, we don't have a monthly rate. It's a weekly rate. And I'm like, I'm sorry, what, come again? So I had to buy a flight last minute, Christmas season, $1,000. Get here, $3,000 also lose $500. Needless to say, I'm probably I'm probably not gonna be traveling anytime soon after I get settled. All right, so basically on Eve, got a little notch before E, so we got with some gas. Right now I'm headed to Walmart as my first destination. Anytime I land anywhere, I go to Walmart first. I re-up on hygiene supplies, get a couple little bites to eat, and then get myself situated. I didn't book a room because I wanted to make sure I had enough cash on hand get my car out which I didn't um, but it's all good so now that I got the car I'm gonna go get some supplies and get me somewhere to stay for the night and then the adventure part two begins I was trying to get an oil change, got my tires checked, windshield wipers. They said I need some, but I wasn't about to buy no $50 windshield wipers. Uh, reinstated car insurance, got some supplies. You know, give me something to eat. And the plays are happening because she's making things happen. The rain just stopped for a moment. The clouds just broke up. The sun is out just a little bit. It's a miracle. I'm always amused at the fact that since I don't like really order things as they come, like I always customize them, it makes people glitch. Like I went at Safeway just now and I went to the deli to get some hot chicken. And I'm like, let me get one breast, four wings, two baked, two fried. He tried to give me an eight piece chicken that was like all variety. I'm like, who is that for me? Like, that's the wrong one. He's like, you said you wanted two, two, two. I'm like, no, one breast, two baked chicken wings, two fried ones. He puts two big breasts or two big thighs in there. I'm like, no, 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 two big chicken wings. And he's like, oh, so he finally gets the order right. But then he backs it up and he leaves my baked chicken wings. So I realize when I get back to the car, I go back. I'm like, yeah, you still didn't give me my baked wings. He's like, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm, I handed you the roll bag, my pride, my bad. So then he like pointing, printing out a thing. I'm like, no, 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 I already paid. He's like, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. And it's like, obviously you don't know. Cause I had to tell you the same order four times and you still got it wrong. And I still had to come back to get my chicken.
Okay, so I've officially completed phase one. I have made it back to the US. I've made it through customs. I've retrieved my vehicle. I've got it serviced. I got some supplies. I stayed at an Airbnb, got a little bit of rest. I ran around and checked off a couple of background air errands. There we go. Now, phase two begins where I'm about to 